So anyway, just finished work and we just popped into Sainsbury's. We don't need to know for a lot, just a couple of little bits and pieces. Now my wheel's in motion and my window's open with the wind blowing in my head. I'm driving down the highway, gonna do this my way, I can feel it in the air. Here I go! and welcome to today's vlog hope you're all okay so yeah boys went off to school today obviously they break up today and i don't break up till next friday so yeah february half term for the boys and even for me is going to be totally different this year like mentioned before i really really wish all term dates would be exactly the same so but yeah it's just going to try and find things to do with them now that fit in with my work as well so it must be february half term there isn't much april now is there anyway as well and the weather isn't supposed to be looking the greatest to be honest with you so yeah i think we just might have to end up going bowling or the cinema or something like that we have actually got a trip booked up to legoland which should be good i know sammy did say about chessington but I know half the rides are on open. We just don't want to go down there just for a zoo day. It just isn't worth it because it's 160 mile round trip. So we sure will um, put our heads together and come up with a couple of things. So it'd be good actually because the Easter holidays are exactly the same. It's just this one which is slightly different. So for saying all the good thing now, it's good because when the kids are off, I'll be, um, no, so when the kids go back to school, I'll be off. So, and also Stephen's got a couple of days holiday that week as well. So yeah, me and Stephen get some good quality time together. We can actually get a few jobs done in the house, which we've been putting off for a while. We've got a whole load of stuff to take up to the tip with us as well. So Stephen said, oh, when I'm off, we can actually get that done out, get that done out the way, which we can do that. Also, we did say about probably getting some paint out in the hallway. The hallway needs repainting. And also we did say about looking for wallpaper back in here. So um yeah just have a look and then just go from there that's what we can do basically so i know we definitely need to do ben's room but obviously we're still waiting to hear about the floor because obviously we had to leak in the bathroom and obviously it's gone through to the floor joist into ben's room so yeah ben's floor is a bit wobbly so before we like replace the carpet and um, before we redecorate we rather get the floor sorted out first so but yeah all those things to do isn't the one you're home in this unfortunately yeah if they remake the money pit the movie would definitely do it on this house just crazy to be honest if the whole house could do with a total refurb it's like in the 1970s but again hang on just a second i just want to sneeze i'll be back in just a second yeah sorry about that just needed to sneeze yeah i've come i had this cold well just before new year and it goes it comes back it goes it comes back um again with my nose i think it's more my sinuses up here because some days i get up in the morning and my nose is really really blocked even at night time when i'm laying down i want to go to sleep my nose is all blocked and congested so i think i might give it a couple more weeks and if i still cry i might pop up to, might see if i can get interested in the nurse or something like that so but anyway yeah i've got my cup of tea here now um i said drank in mine this morning it was cold that's one good thing about next week actually um when i first because obviously the kids haven't got to go up early or nothing like that i know what would be like he'll lay in bed till gone nine half nine sometimes and then this and that way I can drink my nice hot cup of tea. So, but anyway, yeah, I've also got a few jobs to get done in the house. I just need to do dishwasher, um, get my last bit of my washing sorted out, and I need to find myself something for work for eat. Or something for work for eat, that doesn't make sense. Something to eat before I go to work. Not too quite sure what I'm going to have yet. Don't know if I fancy a jacket potato or something like that. But one good thing is, at least it's not raining, so yeah, they'll be able to go outside and play at lunchtime. So anyway, just finished work and we just popped into Sainsbury's. We don't need an awful lot, just a couple of little bits and pieces. Um, kind of like a topically shop type thing actually. So anyway, yeah, just looking at all the gluten-free bits they've got on here. Obviously we're going to Legland on Sunday, so taking a packed lunch and just see what they had here. Like anything for him, but 
they're quite expensive, aren't they? Really, I know. I know Ben would love them, but that's three pounds sixty for those. Mm. Bit expensive, and it's so anyways. We're doing the scan and shop type thing, aren't we? Which is pretty cool, actually. Sometimes you get extra offers on there. So yeah, Stephen just put some ham in because obviously we're going to take a little pat lunch out where you can do some ham sandwiches you need and stuff. Bits for that. I know we need some bits for that. That's what we're coming for, actually, to be honest with you. Um, anything on their reduced price thing here? Sometimes you can find they've got some really good things in here. Nothing on there, is there, really? What are they? I can't pick them up. Jam, mm, jam and cream scones, but they're £1.44 still. They haven't reduced them much, have they? So, has it got any uh, quiches? No, not an awful lot. I just found the jacket potatoes, they're quite a decent size actually. You fancy jacket potato for tea? Yeah, good one. Yeah? yeah. Okay. What was that? 70p? Oh no, 70p per kilogram. I feel like they've got some nice, decent. Yeah, look, that's a decent size one, isn't it? Yeah. So put that one in then. Everyone need to. Oh, actually, we need to put them in there, don't we? Mm -hmm. Do we need to put them in there? That's that one. Again, the kids. Um, obviously, I don't want a big ish one for Sammy because. But then that, that should be right for Sammy. Sit that one back in there as well. So I might as well get them from this side. Definitely, so that means we need cheese and coals on them, won't we, as well? So yeah, I, I don't mind having a jacket stuff supposed for tea tonight. They look nice, don't they? They are taste of difference, large chocolate orange hot cross buns, £1.25 for four. But they've been. Well, you can actually, I don't think you'd be able to toast those with you in the toaster. They might work in the air fryer though. <laughs> To see for Valentine's Day, they, they're doing a £15 dining for two. There you go, should we have a romantic dinner for four at home? <laughs> yeah, that's not bad actually. You get a starter, a main site, the drink, and a dessert for £15. I suppose, what sort of things you've got here? That sounds quite nice. Look, asparagus, prosecco, wrapped chicken breast, that's for, like your main. Um, this is obviously your main as well. You've got like left shanks, smoked gammon shanks. Steaks. Oh yes, you go you get coleslaw, not they like the coleslaw. And then obviously from one of your sides you've got cauliflower cheese, got chips, dolphin wild potatoes, mashed potatoes, and then off Yeah. And obviously then you can do and then also like for puddings you've got like cheese ball selection. Yeah. Which is a dessert. Got some Siemens favourite macaroons. They're actually actually three pound each anyway. And then all these sort of things there. Yeah. I blame Disney for getting her sucked on macaroons. Yeah. They were really nice at Disney, really, really were. All well, right for yogurts and stuff anyway. Is, I tell you what, I will get some yogurts actually for the kids, and that will save us having to go out tomorrow because they do need some. But have they got the ones Ben likes? Ben likes the ones he can squeeze himself. Yeah, get some more butter. You better get some cheese as well, actually. You know, you know what Sam was like with cheese on his jacket potatoes. Which ones we get? That's not bad actually, darling. Two pound eighty. Let's get that pack. Let's get that with ones, yeah. I guarantee you, you're not sounds like with jack potatoes. What you should buy yourself? You should buy yourself a what? Food, food. What's it called? A food processor. A food processor. You can buy a block of cheese and do it yourself. No, it does. It's easier to buy it grated, you know. There you go. Scan that. Buy a block. Well, this is two pound eighty. Yeah, yeah. That's five pound. No, that there's five pound sixty per kilogram. And that's five pound forty two. Per kilogram for that one, so it's up to you. You recognise it? Or that one there is three pounds seventy-four. That red one there. Oh, that. Normally have, we do normally have. You normally have that um, sandwich filler, don't you? Yeah, you got it's, it's run. It's done by the first style, isn't it? So yeah, you can see. Saying this is quite busy, actually. To be honest with you, it's nice and quite busy. What do you fancy off of here? Wow, that's a big bar. Four pound fifty. That big bar of chocolate. Um, what do I fancy? I don't know. Comment down below if you like the white egg. Oh yeah, they're nice. I like them. Get one of those. Yeah, I've had the white egg before and I didn't like it. It didn't taste get very nice. Yeah, get some some buttons. Yeah, can you believe we've actually finally finished chocolate flavour from Christmas? <laughs> Now it's going to be replaced by Easter eggs. Easter. So yeah, so just a couple of bits and pieces that we got. Reasonable. They're, they're not, are they? But, um, the problem is, we do it every time. We leave bags in the car. You took them out. You I took, them. Yeah, no, I took them out, didn't I, when we come back from Lidl, and I just forgot to put them back in. So yeah, it's just a few little snacky bits and pieces. 
um because obviously like i said we're taking our own pack lunch with us um obviously got jacket potatoes for tea tonight which again looking forward to and one thing i liked about sainsbury's is they've done with these reusable produce bags yeah that means you've got to take it again next time exactly but i've never seen them before though have you it's the first time i've seen them yeah i've seen them before I know, but I mean, like I said, Saints was the first. You don't see like Tesco's doing them or Aldi or Lidl, do you? I oh, know. They probably might do, but we've never seen them before. So, yeah, they're good. So, we have, I've got to sit those in the air fryer. Um, it's time to have to probably take, probably put them in about three o'clock ish, half three ish. So, like I said, they should be fine, take about an hour or so. Somebody said, to me, somebody said to me that in America they don't worry about all this recycling stuff, they've no. still got plastic bags. And they, yeah, they, anyone, anyone out there. Anyone who watches us who's living in the States, comment down below, let us know. Do you have to pay for your carrier bags? Are they, do you have paper bags? You know, you know, we, like that. We couldn't even get like a, like a plastic bag to put those potatoes No, we couldn't get a plastic bag to get those. And so, but anyway, yeah. like I said, they'll be fine actually to, to constantly reuse those. Um, how much was this bag anyway? Can you remember how much it was? 30p. And that's not too bad, I suppose. If it's a way of keeping like all your veggies and stuff together anyway. So got them. Um, so we said about making some cakes. So I'm gonna, I've got some of this bacon powder. Sammy. He says he wants to make cakes and he doesn't bother. No, but then again, I could always make a, like a big tray bake for us for t tomorrow already for us for Sunday or something like that, you know? Yeah, it's gonna be a bit of an annoying week coming up. I can see it now. I can actually. Oh, I can really. Turn it is actually, isn't it? So, and then like I said, other bits and pieces. Also, one thing I am pleased about, we bought this. This is Mrs. Primble's butter pancake mix, a gluten free one. Again, this is ideal for burn for pancake day. This was only one pound, what, one, 125 was it on the nectar price or something? We did get quite a few nectar We bits. did get quite a lot of nectar price actually, to be honest with you. Saved about a tenner, I think. <laughs> I think it's about 10 15 pounds. So, yes, yeah, so obviously, gonna put this stuff away now. Like I said, this lot, it still comes 60 quid though, so it's quite a lot for what we've. It's a lot for what we got, actually, isn't it? Yeah, you go back to look at one of our old shopping videos from 2017, and it was a lot cheaper. Yeah, we found it. Sammy found an old tea receipt, didn't he, from 2017? Yeah. And that was a weekly shop used to cost about 70 quid. Yeah. Down to the weekly shop now. <laughs> and nearly double that. Nearly double that. So, but must be saying that though, we have got quite a few um, gluten free things to Ben. Obviously, got these for Sunday as well. Ben, Sammy absolutely loves those, doesn't he, Days? Got some hobnobs. These were at £2 on the nectar. Club car price, not too quite sure if Ben will like these or not, but again, they're still come with us for Sunday. Saying that though, we said we probably spent a lot here, but we've got enough here to last us as well for, the, for Sunday and also for the week. The thing is, I'm not doing no, no Audi shops yet. I'm not going to do Audi right. shops yet, no, we've still got plain stuff in there. This is just like. Got enough bread. Yeah. <laughs> but don't for, yeah. Well, don't forget though, you said about also. Having something to eat at Legoland. Don't forget, they put the prices up. Not having nothing to eat at Legoland. No, not. But don't forget, they stopped doing gluten free now. Yeah. And they're not doing all you can eat pizza pasta anymore, are they? Yeah, I'm just saying, we ain't doing no. that anymore. Not doing that anymore. Just can't afford it anymore, you know? Yeah. So, again, like I said, when we went to Warwick Castle that time, Ben actually loved taking his own picnics, didn't he? He's yeah. got his own little lunchbox and put all of his stuff in there, and he loved helping himself. So, Becky's coming on a Sunday, didn't you? Yeah, Becky, Dom, and Amelia coming on Sunday, they're yeah. They're yeah, of course they are. Mm. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, we better pack this away. It's half past two for now. The kid even calls to be home. Do will leave some of them boy? Yeah, he, he, he'll watch some of these, won't he? Oh, but, yeah. And what? His buttons. Oh, yeah, Samuel's buttons as well. So, so there you go, then, Sammy. You finished for half term, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. Um, you brought home your PE kit, haven't you? Yeah. Um, for me to wash, ready for you when you get back, which is absolutely fine. So, um, anyway, do you have a good day? Yeah. You don't anything interesting or not? I'm just doing some work. Yeah, what, what did you do? Anything interesting? I've just been doing science. Oh, you've been doing science? Well, you like science, though, don't you, anyway? But at least you've had a good day. Did you have assembly today? Yeah. Yeah. Was it one of your teachers' assembly today? Yeah. Yeah. Normally it is, isn't it? Last day of term, which is normally one of the teachers' assembly and that sort of thing. So, but anyway, yes. Yeah, so don't forget. Um, next next week's going to be different, isn't it? Because where's mummy got to go? Mummy's got to go to work, hasn't she? So we'll, we'll try and make it fun for you. We've got Legoland on Sunday, though, haven't we? 
which would be pretty good. So if need be, Sam, we just have to go out for a drive or go out for a walk or something like that. All right. Yeah. Yeah, but I promise you, Easter Easter half term will be different because Mummy's got the same half term as you, and also May half term, and also the summer holidays are all. Oh yeah, don't forget, got oh yeah, don't forget, Daddy set them up for you, hasn't it? You can always find them with Daddy and stuff, can't you? Yeah. Yeah. So that's not too bad. Oh, so I said, we'll pop out and do things, but we've got, don't expect nothing major, Sam, you're right. Yeah? But, they shouldn't be, really, should they? No one should be allowed to have all this. Oh, no. But, yeah, so anyway, you can see Ben is there, bless him, yeah. School has said he's been a bit tired today, and this will be probably ready for his half term, which he probably is, actually. Give him credit, though. In the college part of the school, he seems he does do more than what no. they seem to in the school. Uh, but if that makes sense, because obviously I know they still do work in the school part, yeah, in the school part yeah, and stuff. But right. obviously with Ben, he, it feels like he's probably doing more because he's, yeah, he's out of school like, doing yeah. bits and pieces and stuff. It's like today, they went down to um, the local shop, and obviously he got his role. He chose a cheese and cheese and ham. I think they said role, and obviously then he um. Had a bit of gluten free Rocky Road cake as a, as a treat as well. So, yeah, so I think that's why he's probably seen busy because he's out and about, they're doing lots and lots of walking, that sort of thing. So, yeah, they did a bend of sink. Yeah, you can have lots and lots of lanes now, can't you? That's one of the things actually with me. I still have lanes six weeks, obviously, I don't start work till later on and stuff. Don't forget, yeah, there's other sort of things happening. Don't forget, a couple of days next week, Nanny's coming up to look after you, isn't she? Yeah. So, and did you have Fishy Friday today? Yeah. Yeah? Mummy's doing jacket potatoes for tea, is that all right? Yeah. Yeah? You like jacket potatoes, don't you? Yeah. The cheese and beans. How do you like your jacket, how do you like your potato? Do you like your beans on first or your cheese on first? Sammy? Yeah. How do you like your potato? Cheese on first or beans on first? Beans. Like your beans on first, don't you? And cheese on top, so yeah. Um, really looking no, forward to them actually. Doing. What are you doing? Are you playing with that yoga class again, Sammy? Anyway, yes, yeah, so you can see I those. like it when they do their yoga. You want sweeter? I like it when they do their yoga. Yeah, I know. But you don't forget also, you can, so you can play on these as well, that sort of right. thing. So, but yeah, like it is happy down here, bless him. As you can see, my, yeah, I've got 10 minutes left on here, then I'm going to turn them over. Um, on the other side of half an hour, then they should be done in the ninja, yeah, which is pretty good. So, yeah, like I said, I've got some baked beans to go with that as well. So, yeah. Well, then, SG fam, here we go. Half term week again. Not for me. Yeah, oh, yeah. Silly blooming term times all mixed up. It's just crazy. Was this the only one this year that's all mixed up? Was there more? No, it's just this one. Yeah. Huh. It's just simple here. So comment down below if you're on half term this week or the following week, you know? Because yeah. I don't even know what the top of half term is, you know? Whether it's this week or next week or... So the biggest shock I've had today is from, my book, from the boys' school and I'm getting the, the, uh, the end of year reviews. I'm thinking, oh my good That's lord. July, but they're ending, they're, ending, they're ending the year already. It's like, by the time that happens, Christmas will be lurking around the corner, oh, no. won't it? Like, I don't want Christmas again. It's like oh, not, yeah. not, not yet. We're just recovering from last Christmas, you know. You just think in the next week or so, we've got to deal with Valentine's Day, we've got to deal with Pancake, Pancake Day, Day, and that's one day after another. And then after that, you got Mother's Day straight away, the and then you got Easter straight away. I know. What is the point? That is a re that's say? a retail it's nightmare. Only... <sighs> What's that? When they go back, when they go back. Week on Monday, there's only four and a half weeks left until then, until they break up for Easter. It's uh, yeah, four and a half weeks. Is it? Yeah, yeah, and then they get stupid time off over Easter, which doesn't collide very well. I'd love to know who works out these dates. It's like, what the hell? <laughs> I would actually, because yeah. I know some schools have week before Easter, the week after Easter. Yeah. See, the boys finish on the Thursday, then Friday, it's good Friday. Yeah, I just I'm like, fed up wishing my life away for things thinking, oh, that's July. I'm thinking, and then someone will say, oh, it'll just go like that, won't it? Uh, yeah. Oh, my. Anyway, crazy, it, we head to Sainsbury's this afternoon. 
I've got a few bits and pieces again ready for next week. I don't know how long they'll last, especially with them two in there, how quick they eat for things. It's just crazy. I think, um, I think they've got to be going through growth spurts. Sammy is, I think. Sammy's definitely yeah. going through a growth spurt, isn't he? Like Sammy's always constantly eating. He doesn't put any weight on. Yeah, we're starting to uh, basically kind of lay down the law a bit with Ben now and basically trying to not make him want to go to the cupboards all the time. He doesn't like it. I know, he's got to, he's got to learn that he can't do it all the time. The thing is with Ben, you don't know whether he's hungry or whether it's essentially He's shape. bored as well. And he could be bored, yes. Yeah, the problem where we live, it will be boring because there's nothing round here. There's nothing round here. Plus the weather next week isn't the thing the greatest weather, is it? Yeah, anyway, yeah, SD fam, you, thank you, you very much again for joining us today. Like the video, comment down below, hit the subscribe button, and before I go, I have to say, WrestleMania is, is good. <laughs> After watching that press conference last night, I'm thinking, what well, the this morning, this it, afternoon. Yeah, I know, but it was on last night. Yeah. It was on in, in, in the night our time, but that situation between The Rock, Cody Rhodes, Roman Reigns, and the way The Rock slapped Cody Rhodes and all that, I think, you know. You know what? what? I've got the feeling. Mm -hmm. I got the feeling. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I've um, it's gonna be end up being a triple threat match: Roman Reigns, Rock, and Cody Rose. And I said, I've got a feeling Rock might turn on Cody, um, Roman Reigns and cross Roman Reigns the title. I doubt it. I think the Rock would be be setting up for a new joining up with the Bloodline by the looks of it. You reckon it could be? Yeah. The thing is, it went from that excitement of him wanting to become head of the table and the fans going nuts. To Cody winning the Rumble and making him look this small, that's why the way it went, didn't it? Well oh, don't forget, we saw something on YouTube, didn't we, that someone was saying when they um, went to Raw, they were giving out we want Hashtag Cody, we want want Cody, Cody Rose signs. signs. Yeah. So not as if the fans wanted it, they're the, they'll give them to the fans that does game in the arena. It's just the way they went about it though, that conference. It looked like a like a boxing press conference when they start having a go at each other. It was pretty cool though, it's the first, yeah. first time I've seen one of them though. Well I'm not surprised now, WWE are owned by Endeavour and TKO. I do think Triple H is doing a pretty good job at the moment I reckon. A few naughty words said as well, weren't they? They have to blow it, bleep it. Oh yeah, the thing is I don't understand why. <laughs> if it was on late life. The thing is, I suppose it was like, of course I forget we watched it on YouTube, didn't we? So, yeah, anyway, yeah. see you tomorrow. Bye, Bye everybody. everybody.